Virgo here for a new video um, up for you guys after the bonus was like, oh, you know, deserve a weekend reading. See how, you know, what's going on with the energies and stuff like that, you know? Um, jazz it up a little bit. How y'all guys doing? How y'all feeling? Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my um, channel, please. That would be greatly appreciated. Um, can't say that enough. Um, so let's get into your reading. How y'all doing? Do anybody have any plans for this weekend? You know? Oh, it's been raining all week where I live. So I'm wondering if it's been like that for you guys as well. Um, it, to me, I feel like it's the, the season preparing itself to for the S word. We're not going to go there. <laughs> we are not going to go there. Alright, let's get into it. Alright. So your cards came in reverse, but I don't really like to read them in reverse, especially when it comes to this. But let's see how the energy feels. Um, unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Children, your love life is being affected by children. Getting to know each other as you reveal your inner selves to each other, your bond deepens. Um, it looks like someone's playing the fields. Um, either you or the or your other person. Um, it looks like there's a, a third party involved. Um, take it how it resonates. Not every and third party doesn't necessarily have to mean that the person's actually intimate with the person. It could just be someone else's button in your business. Um, you know, it's either you or the person that's dragging people into your relationship and it's becoming a bother and, a you know, it's it's disrupting your um, relationship at the moment. Um, and you guys, you know, it, you guys are, are feeling a little bit too... A little bit too guarded. Um, either you or your person feels a little bit too guarded because you guys are expecting, um, you know, your relationship to fall apart. Um, but that's not what's happening here. It looks like sometimes there's days where it's rocky, but, you know, it looks like you just got into uh, a relationship. Um... Either you or your person or both have kids um, that are also involved. Um, you know, it's you, you, you guys are taking your time with each other. Um, however, um, one is not put. One is not revealing their inner, like their feelings towards you or you towards them. You guys are holding back. Um, I feel like you guys are holding back, but once y'all start letting go the fear of, you know, is this the right idea? Is this the right person that I should, you know, even give a chance or time to, um, you'll realize you guys have more in common than you know. I have way more in common than you know, and I feel like as though if you guys explore um your each other's feelings you know um my i recommend like going to google and asking like what are questions that you're you know you're able to ask your partner and if that doesn't you know um if you don't like stuff like that you could you know come up with questions of your you know on your own about certain things that's happening, you know, around the around the world right now and see if that person also have the same views as you or something similar to your views and realize that you guys got more in common than you know. Um, and that's where sometimes, you know, relationships grow, you know. Um, but, yeah, let's look, look some more into it. You know, I think you. I think some people are afraid to take chances in relationships because they think it's gonna be a a, a bummer or something like that. But however, um, they end up realizing, you know, it's, it's a successful one. 
I see the relationship progressing with this Four of Pentacles. Um, but it looks like you guys are holding back a lot of... Um, a lot of feelings um, towards one another. You guys are t um, still addressing each other as if you guys are still friends. Um, and this sounds like it's a relationship that's just starting to blossom. Um, but it needs, you know, it needs a little bit, uh, it needs a little bit more um, time. You know, you guys are flowing into um, getting to know each other. And there's certain, sorry if the banging um, is too loud, but... Um, and you guys are just, you know, figuring out, yeah, there's third party energy, um, someone that's giving, that shouldn't even be giving advice, is giving one of you an advice about the relationship that's holding the relationship from progressing, um, and it's, 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 and that's what's the annoying part, when people just believe in butting into other people's business or um there's another person in the equation like a past hurt um or a past person still um is, tr is still trying to affect this relationship in in its own way um either you Either you or your person just got not not just recently like say a month ago, two months ago. It can be, but um, I'm talking about six months plus that you guys been single and you're now giving this um, a go. But you're still you're still or you or your person still reflecting on the past that is um, having you hold back on. Um, expressing your feelings, expressing emotions, um, that can help grow, you know, help the relationship grow. And with the prince, um, so, and the re reason why I say that is because of the three of swords, um, you know, something, it's a blockage, um, you was hurt in the past, that, that's why, you know, you're kind of hesitant or your person's hesitant to, um, show so much love you know in the um re in the current relationship uh, but it does have potential this re this relationship does have potential to uh, you know become something stronger um with the prince of princess of pentacles in reverse you know it show it's showing a lot of where you know others Others, you get, you know, either you or your person's allowing others' opinions um, to dictate how you move with this person. Um, and you may not know this person now. You may, you know, suddenly encounter and be in, you know, um, a next relationship. However, you have to, you have to be careful on. Um, Letting, making sure you're healed and letting go of the past so it will not, you know, roll with you in the next relationship. Or others, such as friends, um, friends and family who says you're not ready um, to be in the next relationship, moves, tread lightly, moves slowly, hold back. Um, that's causing you to, you know, wonder, is this the right go? Like, am I really ready um, where you was ready two weeks ago, but because of people in your ear, you're now all of a sudden contemplating, are you really ready to, you know, um, be, um, in a committed relationship? Um, I do feel that some of you guys are already, you know, starting a relationship and helping it grow to becoming very strong and committed. However, just be careful, um, of others, um, such as your past coming um i do still feel the energy of your past it could not be them physically but energy wise they're still connected um so if you're trying to venture off and be in another relationship and move on i suggest you heal and um let go of those wounds you know let go of what they did to you i know it's hard um it's easy said than done but 
you you you're looking like you're ready to be in a, another relationship you know and if you are in there just trust the process it's not you don't have to hurry up and you don't have to slow down go in your place let it go in your pace let it flow you know let it flow you know because this could be someone that you know you either like i said learn from or be with you know um either or it's someone that i believe that you um if y'all let your guards down um it could be a successful relationship you know and commitment and um it does look like children are involved and which is always great um so for overall message is work through your fears and it's time to release negativity exactly what i said it's time to release uh, a friend that's constantly telling you um oh i think you should do it this way i think you should do it that way or um giving you wrong advice just to you know be a step ahead um or don't want you to 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 be in a next relationship because they feel as though you're not ready how do you know i'm not ready like how could you make that decision for me unless you allow it you know um just release the negativity release the fears of the relationship falling apart because of what happened in the past um that's where also with the three of swords like the past energy of still holding what that past person did to you and and afraid you know to prosper in the next relationship i say let it go you know, let it let go of those fears. Let go of those negativity. Fears is negativity. You know, because you're you're constantly replaying certain things that people, excuse me, done to you in the past that you're afraid to, you know, move on and potentially meet your your soulmate. You know, your next soulmate. Um, but yeah, I, I I say go for it. I say go for it. Release release your feelings, release the negativity, and show show that person that you actually you know are ready and want to be um, in the next you know committed relationship. And it's all up to you, you know. Um, just let go. Sometimes it's it's easy said than done. I get it. It really is. Um, but not let go of the person because you could have already let go of the person. It's it's how you feel about what they did to you letting go of the hurt um that they caused um that way it doesn't affect your future your present um and what you're currently um what you're currently going for which i see is um pursuing someone else and that you actually like you know it's like you actually like this person and the person actually likes you it just it seems as if or both of you guys are holding back a lot and guarded because of, you know, past mistakes, past hurt, um, just believing that others are just the same way as, you know, the people that you have encountered before in your previous time. However, just stay, you know, um, stay with what you want, stick to what you want, and you got it, you know? And, um... That's all I have for you guys. Definitely stay tuned for my next upcoming videos. Um, I wish you guys, you know, the best. Definitely. Don't forget to please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Um, I would greatly appreciate it. It's the blessings. Um, thank you for allowing me to read for you guys. And um, I'm out. Peace.